What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at the AML-90. This is a rank 4 French tank. It can also be found in the Israeli tech tree, but I will be doing a video on that tank later. Anyway, the AML-90 in the French tech tree is a 7.0 BR uh, light tank. It is a wheeled tank. Um, and in real life, it is still in service with the South African Army. I probably just butchered what the real name of their army is called, but anyway, it's still in service in South Africa to this day, and maybe a few other countries. I did not do my research, besides, of course, finding other ones in South Africa. But anyway, this tank is a beast, or at least used to be a beast. I, for some reason, have had trouble playing it within the recent few days in my recording of this video, but, as you can see on the screen here, its max repair cost is 679. If we go and compare, uh, 6,070, oh, whatever, you saw it on the screen. Comparing that to the SAMX-13 here, the SAMX-13 used to be in the 10,000 to 12,000 range, unspaded, which gave just extreme, just, I went from the EBR to AML-90. I only played a few matches in the same X-13. I think 11 when I first got that first hit on the, uh, uh, repair cost. But the AML-90 used to be my favorite tank, and for now still is, I guess. But it is, it's such an incredible tank, in my opinion, if you play it right. The gun is it's it's a gun on wheels it's not as fast as the ebr it's not as armored as something say the amx 13 and that is saying something or the char 25 which as you can see i've not driven that thing yet but this thing can literally be penetrated by anything and it can penetrate almost anything at least it used to before recording this video, I was just literally bouncing off of things that I used to just go right through. Maybe I just was not doing it right, but I don't know. Anyway, this tank is a beast when used, right? But it's also the easiest thing in the game to kill. A 50 cal from any American tank with three shots can take it out. There's no place on this tank that you can survive a hit. That being said, I can still penetrate it. I mean, uh, what was I? I'm sorry, guys. I've not done a video like this in a while. But anyway, I only take ten rounds in. So one in the breach and then nine up here. That leaves this space down here. Or sorry, this space up here. Free of ammo. So if I get shot right here, I'm probably fine. And that has happened. I've come around a corner and I've been shot through the head. And there's been no damage. Like, it is surprising when it does not kill me. But taking just the ammo down here is what I usually do. I usually die in the first few machine gun hits. But... There is the odd chance that somebody could shoot up here and you not die. But again, that just rarely happens. Another thing that just doesn't sit right with this tank is 90 horsepower. This tank can move. It's not as fast as the EBR. The EBR is amazing. It can accelerate super fast. It's just great. But it also has an engine with... um. Over double the horsepower. Over double the horsepower. That's an incredible achievement. With only 90 horsepower. To get up to about three quarters the speed of the EBR. But your acceleration is non-existent. It just doesn't accelerate well at all. Once you're up to speed, you're fine. But as soon as you hit, like, going through water... It's just terrible. But it also 
fixes what the EBR lacked in controllability with only front wheel steer. While I do like the EBR for going into uh, cities like on the Maginot Line, that I love the EBR on that map. This has a hard time with that map because it's steering, it has a pretty wide turning circle, but it's also the perfect blend. It, it's controllable while at high speeds, unlike the EBR. But that being said, it still is just a great tank. I love it. It's such a fun tank to drive, even if it is just killed really easily. If I play it, if I've, if you play it right, you should carry the match. I've gotten six, seven kills in this tank before. It is also my highest killing tank in the game. I have the most kills in this tank than any other tank in the game. The second uh, most being the AMX M4, which is a beast in of itself, being a French Panther with an auto loader, basically. But I'll get to that video later. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. The first match, I'm by myself, but I'm later joined by Mason and Mitchy, who just kind of joined in as I was filming the video, so we just turned it into a gameplay video. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and as always, if you don't mind dropping a like, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell just to boost the uh, YouTube algorithms, and hey, you'll know when I post great content. And as always, thank you to all you amazing people who love to play Roblox. Unfortunately, my phone got cleared of all my Roblox videos. I could not believe it. If you watch this video and you know you have played with me, send me a comment. Send me a notification on Roblox. Send me a notification on um, on uh, War Thunder here. I will give you a shout out. Right now I can only think of one person. Casey Gaming. Thank you for playing with me on Roblox and, be will and being willing to donate. Um, and thank you for playing with me on uh, here a few months ago. I was boycotting War Thunder so I couldn't uh, make a video about playing with you, but thank you, Casey Gaming 7958 But, again, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I will see you all next time. Alright, here we go in the first match. Oh, oh there we go. Alright, here we are in the first match. Just load it in. It's only my second time on this new map. We're heading out to Bravo here to watch for enemies. There's a lot of errors going on in my tank for some reason. It's really weird, so... Don't mind that as we head over here following our T92 friend. I'm going to head around this way. Knock a few of these panels down. Oh, hello. It's not really a friend of ours. Our forces are busy capturing. Uh, 
All right. That's the sound. All right. So here we go. We're gonna move up here. Let's see. There's some auto cannons out to the side here. I don't know if it's friendly or not. Don't think we know. Let's deal with it. Yeah. Let's deal with this guy here. My barrel. I can see him. It's okay. Oh, that's not good. That way must definitely be marked. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh. I don't have a tank anymore. That's special. Not bad. Two kills on the first match. Not bad at all. Alrighty. Let's take this in. Scout some targets on the ground for him. And if any of you are ever wondering why I take a 4 3 or 4 7, 4 3 plan into 7 0 matches, is because this is my only premium French plan I have. And taking this premium in. There's no bombs. If I shoot down enemy aircraft, which sometimes I do, sometimes I do, I get way more money because one's a premium and I'm shooting down jets or high tier props and those reward quite well. So I'll fly down low here and wait for that enemy to send up some not so friendly vehicles and once they're Distracted with my teammates, I will come in and clean up the mess. Alright. Let's see here. As you can see, we're head really low, kind of blended in with the water. And when the enemy sent up their aircraft, I'll be able to see them first and they won't notice me. Because the biggest thing that I've seen that is that attracts the eye is when a plane does crop dust maneuvers. So diving in, and then going vertical, and diving back in. That catches the eye very much. So, staying low until a decisive target has been found. Like, like doing turns like this, so you stay nice and low, but you're not catching anybody's eye. The tanks don't notice you as much, you're not showing yourself to anybody unnecessarily. So, right now, we're just flying nice and low, dodging terrain, listening for an aircraft. In this case, for us. Oh my. Oh, shoot. What happened? Well, that is a case of putting your cursor on the wrong side of the screen. Yeah, don't do that. Alright, welcome back everybody. Um, I'm now here. Mitchie has actually joined me for this battle. We're 7-7, really? seven, seven. so this is the up-tier test for the AML-90. And, yep, full up-tier, what do you know. So, this should be interesting. Let's go. Alright. Uh, Mitchie, let's cover C. Just shot me. Mitchie, did you hear me right in the seat? Because it's a less likely chance of dying to overhead shells. Never mind. Whoa! Okay, there's a BMP or something. Firing from over yonder. 
Ah! Okay, everybody, just don't die and we'll be fine. Oh! Oh! It's actually an IT one. Oh. Oh, wait, an IT? Um, hey guys, we have something right about here. Oh. Those missiles are, uh, close. Okay, we got a bigger tank over here. Got hit on. Okay, I tracked a tank. Critical hit, gunner letter breach. Still don't, I think it's a, I, I, I don't know. Got him. Oh, so it's really nice. Oh, so uh, oh actually. Okay, I'm on C. I'm on C. Oh, C-54 now. Wait, where? Oh. Oh, what's the phone? Oh my gosh. This is how Okay, I have enemy danger close. Enemy danger close. How yeah. close is close? Uh, oh, he's not the man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's not the Oh! Hey. Don't shoot me. I'm not here. Oh no! These missiles are so really close. That's really close. It's scary as can be. Oh no, please no! Oh my gosh. Where are you at? Oh. <laughs> In heaven. <laughs> oh, my. oh my goodness. Where is that? Okay, Mitchie, where is that thing at so I can. I don't know. Hey, shooting at Wait, what? You're hurt? <laughs> I don't know. Confused. Okay, am I safe to push out? Safe, I would not say. Run, 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 You don't see me, I'm not here. I hear something from your left. Right left. left. Oh! Yeah, that, that's right, actually, sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> I was like, but left. I, I know. I literally jumped when I heard that. Like, I literally jumped when he shot me. At least I have enough to bring that in. Okay, let's just do seven hours next time. Um, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Wait a second. What did you bring in? I uh, seven seven Amex thirty. Ah. Let's see. Do you have a plane that you can bring in too? I have an eighty four. All right. Six zero. Because right now yeah, I do a plane and a tank, so right now I'm gonna bomb that conqueror because I'm very mad at him. That stupid IT-1 just missiled our Israeli Cobra. Oh. Oh, and we have enemy planes coming up the deck on it. I'm pretty sure this um, 3-0 Hellcat is not meant to fight jets, but... No, oh, no, probably not. I could just be managing that. Well, when you start fighting jets with the 3-0, that, that's kind of scary. Oh, I just tap whatever. I tried to chat, but I realized I was still in the squad, so that's not gonna help me. What is that? Oh, two six two. No, that's an errata. Bit out of my class. I don't know what that. Oh, I have an IT shooting at me. I think the errata is faster than me. Mm, just a bit. <laughs> but this, ladies and gentlemen, shows that um, the older planes, the better, because they're just awesome. Alright, let's eliminate some fecal matter from the playing field.
If you're the person I'm about to bomb and you're watching this, please don't be mad at me. Just don't be in an IT one. Oh my gosh, that was very low. Yes, but hey, that was the that was the IT. Now I missed. Oh, that's not. Oh, scary, scary. It is missing. I should. Have said I should have just said anything. I should have just been quiet. Hey, you got him. Hey, got him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that stupid IT because... Well, oh, hey. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be in a martyr and shoot at a Hellcat. They have big bombs. They will drop them on you. Word of advice.